Right now, a crime alert in Claremont. Deputies say several businesses have fallen victim to thieves. The crooks hitting up a couple of shops all within minutes of each other. Mark Lehman has surveillance video that police want you to see. Today, all of the targeted businesses are back open, but signs of the break-ins like this boarded up door still remain. Meanwhile, investigators are working to ID any of the 11 behind the crime spree. It's really unfortunate that people are doing things like that. Shoppers reacting after seeing video of what police call a coordinated rash of break-ins early Thursday. The first at Pisano's Pizza in Claremont. That's where you can see a group of intruders hopping a counter and swiping a cash register before slipping away. But this was only the beginning. This was planned. I think it was well thought out. Just a mile away, the front door at a liquor store is shattered. At least eight mask intruders are seen making their way inside and running through the aisles, grabbing bottles of alcohol all along the way. Being the fact that it's in Claremont, it's, you know, it's close to home. It's close to home, it hits you near and dear. Then two were seen running away after breaking into a nearby restaurant. As officers were closing in, there was one final burglary attempt at a Jersey Mike subs, but no one made it inside. In all, 11 are thought to have pulled off the heist using three cars, one of them stolen out of Orange County. All of the break-ins happening within 10 minutes. In a 10-minute crime spree, affects a lot of people in this community. Detectives say they are looking into the connection of that car stolen out of Orange County. In the meantime, they're asking anyone with information that can help them to call police. For now, reporting in Claremont, Mark Lehman, News 6.